The founder of computer giant Acer, Stan Shu, was targeted by the Thai administration as the potential leader of a planned national fund to coordinate investments in the domestic tech sector. Though Shu seemed to distance himself from the opportunity over what he called potential conflicts of interest, he did lend his support for a plan to develop a Silicon Valley in Taiwan. Considerable public interest has followed the Thai administration's plans to set up a national investment fund to spur domestic development across several emerging industries. Officials were looking to choose the chairman of the fund from among a host of senior figures in Taiwan's tech field. Acer founder Stan Shi was one of their top candidates. <laughs> My wife said she wouldn't let me do it, and I'll listen to my wife. I considered it for a while, but there's still the conflict of interest problem. The government has control of public funding sources, the prerogative of taking leadership and policy and the authority to enforce the laws they hand down. But there is still something clouding direct interaction between the government and the industry. Pegatron chairman Tong Zixian, who is also at the forum, called on his fellow industry leaders to help drive private sector participation in the government plan. His appeal followed comments by TSMC chairman Morris Zhang, who earlier expressed concern that the government wasn't properly supporting the nation's semiconductor industry. The semiconductor industry is the most important foundation of the tech sector. So I'd say that it should also be the bedrock of our plan for setting up Asia's Silicon Valley in Taiwan. If we're talking about spurring innovation, the fastest way to do that is to rely on expanding the scope and value of our existing industries. Shi rounded off his remarks with a call for Taiwan to speed up the transformation and renovation of its tech sector through integrating hardware and software development.